Welcome back to another episode of Emergency Response Liberty County Zanies. This is going to be your official 2022 ERLC Halloween Murder Mystery Guide. The first thing to do, obviously, you got to view the event. You got to go through all of this. Don't worry, you are not missing anything at this point. From here, you can go through the instructions if you so want to. But really, the important thing to focus on is the suspects. I feel like during my first run, I spent entirely too long at the crime scene, not really gathering any pertinent information. So if you really want to, you guys, you can begin here and just immediately start going to the waypoints. At the first waypoint, you're only really here to collect one piece of evidence, you guys. You're going to be looking for these boots. That really is the only piece of evidence you are going to be collecting at this residence. You can talk to her if you like just to gather additional information but she's really not going to give you anything helpful other than telling you that she was with Brian really late at night and that they were supposedly catching up. Keep this in mind. At Charlie's house, you're going to be collecting two things. The first thing you're going to want to collect is basically his browser history, which is here. You're going to inspect. You're going to collect all the browser history. Now you have that as part of your clues. And in the next room over, not this one, it's a restroom. I'm missing it. Nope, that's not it either. It's this one then. Here we go. You are going to collect the pistol, which is a matching weapon to how Brian Walter was killed. At this point, though, you are actually completely done at this guy's house. So if you really want to, you can head on over and move on to the next suspect. At Diana's house, you're going to want to be a little careful because I completely and totally missed this the first time around and almost missed it the second time around. But what you want to do is you want to come here. You want to pull out your UV light and you want to examine the blood splatter. So the blood stains will populate for you, and now you are only missing a handful of clues. The next clue at her house can actually be found inside. The shoes are the next part of the evidence, which do not match to anything that we are trying to do. And we have one suspect left, and that is Jose, and we are going to drive on over to his place. And don't worry, you guys, if I am moving fast, I will tie all of this together for you at the end. This is just to help you work your way through the murder mystery quest, if you are in fact having a hard time this year. Over at Jose's house now, and the only real thing you're looking for in here is a second pair of shoes, or I should say a third pair of shoes, which actually do match with those of the crime scene. So with only three pieces of evidence left to go, you will find all three pieces back at Brian's house. At Brian's house, there's only really one piece of evidence that sort of unlocks all the others. If you come inside and you try to inspect this little lockbox, you'll be confronted with basically a combination that you need to unlock. It took me a little while to figure out and I really had to think hard about it. But if you guys want to hear me shout in excitement and, and be so proud of myself like a little girl, Basically, all this is, is his house number backward, which if I remember correctly, is 9041. So here we go. Once you unlock that, you will unlock one of the pieces of evidence, then Brian's will, and then last but not least is Brian's diary. And that's it, you guys. You can move on to solve the case, and at this point, you want to pick Jennifer Mills. Yes, believe it or not, his own sister killed him. And just like that, this year's murder mystery is solved. Now, for those of you that really care about how all of this ties in together, either go check out part one and part two of the murder mystery where I had a ton of fun doing it, or you can just listen in for the next minute, maybe minute and a half. Okay, so check it. What ended up happening is Jennifer and Charlie used to be married at some point. They got divorced. They now live apart, but Jennifer knows that Charlie owns a gun. We found a gun at Charlie's house, which meant that Charlie potentially had the means and the motive to kill Brian. Because remember, Charlie was running against Brian in the mayoral race. So that's definitely a good motive there, right? X out the competition. During the midst of all this, Brian was also having conflicts with Jose, who's his co-worker. They were not getting along at work whatsoever, giving Jose a little bit of a motive. On the morning of October 15th is when Brian's body was found, and as you may have guessed, the last person to see him alive was actually his sister. When you question the sister, if you decide to question her, and this is why it's important, you will realize that she was in fact the last person to see him, and that she claims they were driving around really late at night just catching up which is a little odd if you ask me. If we think about the fact that we found blood on Diana's car, you'll remember that Brian actually ended up borrowing Diana's car. Now you might be wondering, Zany, how do we know that Diana had loaned Brian her vehicle? Well, 
that is where the emails come into play. These emails basically go over how Brian asked Diana if he could borrow her car because his car has been at the shop all along. That means that Brian or anyone close to Brian was actually the person driving the vehicle the night of the murder. And since Brian is dead, that really only leaves Jennifer. When you start to examine the contents of Brian's lockbox, you'll see that his life insurance, half of his life insurance to be exact, is all made out to Jennifer mills at the end of all of this ladies and gentlemen we can determine that jennifer has the means by either using charlie's weapon taking it borrowing it however you want to tally it up that is the means right there the motive 50 percent of brian's life insurance and the opportunity obviously being with brian late into the night early into the morning when he was murdered ladies and gentlemen jennifer mills is your murder all right you guys so that was a bit of a speed run but this is your full guide for anyone that's having problems out there, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of this year's murder mystery. And until next time, long live the zanies.